Georgie, do we have a guest today? We do, it's the Remy. Are we gonna make some treats? You guys wanna make some treats? Aren't they too cute? I'm gonna make some um, treats for them in the air fryer. Let's go put it together. Needed some cinnamon, some pure pumpkin, natural uh, peanut butter, whole wheat flour, and two eggs. Let's start with two cups of whole wheat flour. You wanna make sure it's whole wheat flour. It's a great source of um, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and it's a plant-based nutrient. Now we'll add in one cup of pure pumpkin. It contains vitamins like A, C, and E, and it has great minerals like iron and potassium, and it's really, really good for their di digestion. Now we'll add in one third cup of peanut butter. Now what dog doesn't like peanut butter? Plus it's an excellent source of protein, healthy fats, vitamins B, E, and niacin as well. Now we'll add in just one third teaspoon of cinnamon. It's non-toxic for dogs. It's great for anti-inflammation and can help older dogs fight diabetes and um, also obesity. All right, we will go on to our two eggs. They're high in protein, fatty acids, and fatty health acids help support your dogs inside and out. It's great for their hair. And those are all of the ingredients. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that all up. And it's going to make like a nice thick cookie dough. And then, um, so I'm like super excited to be making these for the doggies today. Um, Remy is here visiting. She's like kind of like my grand puppy, I guess you would say. But um, Georgie is kind of trying to accept her in my house right now. She's much younger than he is. And uh, ooh, they're, they're kind of a handful. All right, so we got that all mixed up. So I'm just going to add some more of that whole wheat flour down here on the ground, <laughs> on the crown of my countertop, and then just kind of place that all out. I'm going to roll it up and um, use my cookie cutters. I did have some um, doggy treat cookie cutters, but I have no idea where I put those. And I know that I gave these out as gifts one year for all of my neighbors because they all my neighbors have dogs too. So I'm wondering if I might have given those all away with their treats. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to use some hearts, some stars, some flowers, whatever I could find. You can use anything. See how nice and easy these pull away? I mean, these are perfect little uh, biscuits for your doggies. So I'm just going to grab a silicone mat and I'm just going to go ahead and just place them on there. You can put them on there pretty tight because they don't get all big and poofy or anything like that. They pretty much stay the same size. So I'm able to put three racks in my, well, I can actually put four racks in my air fryer oven. This is my Power Excel air fryer oven and um, just kind of shift them around a little bit. So 325 for 25 minutes. And look at there, you guys, we did it. We made some little homemade doggy treats. Let me tell you, these are so fun to make. My doggies are gonna be so super happy. I will show you in just a moment. Normally right now I would take a bite and you know, and show you how great they are. But you know what? I'm gonna let them do the tasting this time. All right, you guys ready to try one? We'll give you a flower and we'll give you a star. Oh my goodness. Is that good stuff? What do you think, Remy? Is that good? Is that good stuff? Yeah? Is that good? All right. You guys are being so good. Okay, we'll get some more later. I think that's a... I think they like it. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I think this is so fun. I love cooking for my doggies. Well, my grand doggy and my doggy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Bye-bye now.